Hello and welcome. My name is Serideth and I will guide you very shortly on how to use the bunny hop macro and the interaction macro. It's the same thing for Dishonored 1, Dishonored 2 and Death of the Outsider. We already have a video up, but that is causing more questions than actually helping because the interface for it has changed a bit and now it's much easier to use. There's a big chance if you just download it, it's very self-explanatory, but if it's not, don't worry about it. And if this video leaves you with any questions, you can join our Discord, or if you're already there, just ask. And we have a Dishonored speedrunning community Discord, which I will link down below. Like I will link everything else as well. And you can just ask there, hey, I saw this video, this dumb fuck didn't quite explain it well. Can you help me? People will help you. So first off, like I said, it works on all those three games. Dishonored 1, Dishonored 2, Death of the Outsider. If you want the proper setup for Dissonant 1, take a look at Lurvin's tutorial. I will have that linked as well, because he goes into more depth about the Dissonant 1 keybind setup, because in order to have two different keybinds per action, in Dissonant 1, it's a bit trickier. Dissonant 2 and Death the Outsider both have double keybinds, like in-game. So I'll show how that works in DH2, and it's the exact same for DOTO. So, first off, you can head off to either down in the link, or you can go to any of the speed uh, speedrun pages of these three games and find the Bunny Hub macro. This will lead you here, and you will just click the dish to macro dot zip. Again, it says two works for all of them. You click it, and you download it. You unzip it, and this is what you're faced with. So, this is what it will look like. This is completely normal. If if you see this, super fine, but you don't need to boot it up yet. First, you want to open the INI. When you open the INI, this is what you see. There's a lot of text, right? By default, this will work with spacebar. So if you hold space, it will be spamming scroll down inputs. We want to be binding our scroll down to jump, and we want to be binding our scroll up to interact. You can also switch these. The reason we can't just be spamming spacebar as an input, it's more complicated than I want to go here, but basically scroll inputs are treated differently. And because scroll is different, we use it. Scroll is great. Let's use scroll. Don't worry about it. So it this is really well done. Sommels has done a great job. It even has a link up here for all the possible hex codes you would want if you want to rebind it. If you don't want to use the default keys that I offered here. Middle mouse spacebar G and H. And what this means is that you see you see this column right here? If you take this out, if you put one in here, that means that the macro isn't going to work. So if I save this and I run the macro now. There is no key. It might even it might even give me an error. Yeah, it even says an error. No key was bound to either scroll direction. So when I take this column out and I save it again, and I run it, sorry, I run it. Now, if I hold space, I will be scrolling down. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Generally, people want this on either like a mouse, side mouse button, middle mouse, or a space bar. In this case for Dishonored 2, space bar is very, very good. Then, what if you want to have the interaction one? You can't just simply do this. If you do this, that's really bad. You don't want to have two of the same ones in the same macro. So what you want to do instead is just create a new folder. You can create it wherever you want. I'm going to create it inside the jump macro folder. And I'm just going to call it F macro. I'm going to take these two files and just copy them and paste. And then we'll open the INI. We'll put the colon in front of the spacebar. And let's say middle mouse for up scroll. And save. And now we can run both of these macros. And when I hold space, the jump macro will work. And when I will hold uh, middle mouse, the interaction macro will work. So what does any of this mean? When we go into Dishonored 2 here and go into controls, key mode mapping, just make sure jump is here. So you want to have jump wheel down and then use wheel up. You can also reverse these directions. I'm sure you understand that. That's fine. If for some reason you want to be maybe sometimes manually scrolling down to pick up items, be my guest. But yeah, 
that's really how easy it is. The old video was a bit more complex because the inter the interface for it was something like this. So you can see how this could cause some confusion because this interface doesn't work with the new macro. So yeah, anyway, that's that. Again, if you have any further questions, please join the Discord, ask in the comments, do whatever you want. We will help you. Don't let this stop you. Best of luck. And uh, yeah, have a good day.